coalitions have really become this buzzword over the last year, especially as more public talk about the upcoming national elections have been happening, and also as pre-election poll after pre-election poll have been suggesting that the uh, ruling uh, ANC party is at risk of losing its overall majority and receiving below 50% of the vote. Um, so, partly related to these kind of projections, coalition government or the idea of a coalition government at national level has been poised um, to be sort of the only viable path to stable and accountable governance, but it is not clear what such a coalition um, could look like. And while it has now become a buzzword, the idea of coalition governance is certainly not new to South Africa. Um, throughout its democratic history, coalition governments have existed at various times of national, provincial, and especially, as we've just discussed, really since 2016, um, more, very prominently at local government levels, although some might not consider them all kind of traditional coalition governments as such. Um, but some of the most prominent of these examples have included the Government for National Unity from 1994 mm -hmm. to 1999, um, some even point to the founding of the Democratic Alliance itself in 2000, um, alliances between the ANC and the Infanta Freedom Party, the IFP, as well as the DA and the IFP's Coalition for Change of 2003, um, to name but a few, all of course with varying levels of success and different lifespans. Coalitions, I think, are also not unusual or outside the norm, but could be considered a rather natural progression of democratic politics. Um, and I don't think coalitions are something to be resisted, but they should be studied and debated as we're doing here today, so that we can better understand them and so that they can be improved. And although in South Africa and Africa more broadly, um, the I coalition governments is um, nascent, to again borrow terminology from the paper I referred to earlier, it aligns with the ideals of multi-party democracy and specifically in the case of South Africa with its proportional representation or PR electoral system. It's therefore not far-fetched but aligns quite well um, with its provision and I think it makes the discussion that we're having today all the more important. Um, 